hope you're doing well. We're back here in the shed. This time we've got a wee uh, Mazda MX-5. And this is a 2006, um, what's called the NC. Um, so third generation, just a nice wee car to drive. And it's gonna be predominantly used for um, just road going, uh, fun track days. And it's not gonna get hugely powerful at this point in time. So yeah, we're just gonna um, put a nice, uh, safe 6.6 6 point cage in it and um, see how we get on. I don't really fit in these cars. Um, the particular owner of this car is uh, not too tall, so that's excellent. And we may have to end up doing something fancy with the seats. Um, the factory mounting points are a little bit high, and hence uh, the seats get pretty, like any aftermarket seats, um, motorsport related sort of seats that we're gonna be putting in, um, get pretty close to the roof. The roof is removable, and he wants to retain that, so they've got rid of the um, folding mechanism, um, so it's just a, a hard top roof. Yeah, we're going to have to work out a way of squeezing a cage into here. Um, tuck it up nicely along the roof line here and down the pillars. A um, bit of side intrusion, but again, it's a road going car, so they want to keep the side intrusion as low as possible. So, a bit of play with that, do some um, bracing plates, and I'll um, take you along for the journey, see if I can show you a few things, maybe. And um, yeah, we'll hopefully have a running, uh, working, or well, at least a cage in the car by the end of the week. Taken some measurements and done a bit of cleaning up. Planned out where I'm going to put the main hoop. It's uh, fairly simple in this wee MX-5. A fairly flat um, rear parcel tray here. So we'll probably end up bringing the um, bar into this sort of corner in here. Um, so yeah, up from up here, across basically in there and across the back window and down and then we'll um, obviously have the rear um, rear laterals um, coming down to this back corner down here and we'll do some across or something in the in the middle not quite sure yet not sure what the customer wants so the inside intrusion will end up um, being that's a road car it'll be nice and low it'll come from the, um, the main hoop down and basically follow fairly low along here so what I've done here is cut my piece of pipe the right length um, tube um, then measured out where I want my bends um, so I want a 22 degree bend starting here and finishing here that's my mark for my jig um, then I want a 68 degree bend through this section um, then this is my centre line always good to mark your centre um, so that way you know where you are at even if uh, you've got bends in there obviously once it's bent here um, it's fine. I'm finding it very difficult to find your centre again if you haven't marked already um, and then yeah marked the rest of them so we've got bend three down here working back the other way and bend four the ability to make one half and then work from your center back um, is great that means if I decide actually I've made this too wide or actually it's too narrow um, I've given myself a little bit of extra cut length on both ends so basically I can move these bends further down or further up depending on if I want the bars to be further apart or bring them closer together um, so yeah that will start to bend these up and go from there So as you saw, we bent all that up, took lots of measurements as we went, I made a little diagram on the floor here, you can't really see it in the video, but um, yeah, basically just sketched out the inside to make sure that everything was 
perfect. We have a nice um, tight fitting barb. So I've just cut it down to basically get it to fit. There's obviously reinforcing plates that need to be um, put in on the, the top here, um, which will lift it a little bit. And um, yeah, I don't want it quite touching the roof. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. That um, turned out, I've got about 10 mil um, all around. So yeah, that should be perfect. Yeah, get the reinforcing plates in, um, get that tacked in, and then we'll start looking at the front laterals. This is them welded in, got them to fit nicely to the body. Um, 20 millimeter stitch welding apparently is best for this sort of thing, um, where you're connecting um, a lot obviously thicker steel to a thinner steel um, body, um, especially into a car body. Um, in a crash, um, if you fully weld it, it can tend to tear the whole way along a weld, um, whereas if it's only stitch welded, um, it'll tear to the end of the weld where the heat affected zone is um, and then stop tearing um, so you actually get a stronger um, connection even though it's not fully welded. It seems counterintuitive but that is actually um, better, it has been tested and that's um, what's permitted. Um, you see a lot of people welding all the way around. Um, it is sort of a, a debate but um, as far as Motorsport New Zealand is concerned, 20mm um, twenty twenty stitch welding is the way to go so that's what we've done here. Um, or as close to it, and I like to wrap the corners um, rather than having a, a weld um, going into a uh, into a corner only 20 millimeters. I'd rather wrap around the whole corner on every corner. I always radius the corners of my plates. Um, helps with that tearing. So yeah, we'll get the main hoop in and um, see what she looks like with the roof back on. So there we have it. Hoops back in. Nice and tight. I've been in a about, I don't know if you can see, about five to six mil clearance around the, the top edge. Um, that was the aim, and yeah, about 10 mil on the sides. Um, just tacked in at the moment, get all the rest of the bars made and in, and then we'll weld it all together. That's the rear hoop done. So it's meant for a nice um, simple cross. Um, you haven't seen obviously any of the back of here yet, other than the time lapse, but yeah. Brace plates on the floor. I say a nice simple cross. Um, I always like to bring the straight length, as in the one that isn't notched in the center, from the um, passenger side to the driver's side head. Um, you'll always have a driver, um, so hence the stronger bar. Um, and then the other one is uh, obviously for the passenger. Um, not um, less important, but um, less time that you have a passenger than you do always have a driver. So um, yeah, that's the rear part done and welded up. Now time to bring the roof back down and start bending the, the front bar to go down here. Just as a note, um, a good rule of thumb for your um, angle here, um, 30 degrees um, from either direction, so as in 30 degrees down or 30 degrees up from horizontal, that is your limit. Um, you want to be somewhere in between, 45 is obviously um, sort of what you're aiming for I guess. Yeah, this worked out about 40 something degrees, so about right.